Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and for today's video I decided to make several cards with the Honey Bee Stamps Poinsettia background stencil. So my first use of it I decided to keep it simple and do some ink blending and in my head I was thinking holly more than poinsettias so I decided to do everything in green other than the little um, center areas. I decided to do those like red berries. So in the end it was like, oh, this actually turned out pretty cute. And I could have done a second one doing the flowers red and the leaves green, but it kind of gives you options, which I kind of like. So the ink blending super simple. I just used three different colors of Distress Ink and my Pick a Fence blending brushes. So I started off with shabby shutters and I'm just using little bits of memo tape to kind of cover the little center areas just to make things a little bit easier so that I don't get ink where I don't want it since I am doing red and green and if you mix red and green together you end up usually with kind of like a muddy sort of color. So I added the shabby shutters first and then I went in with a little bit of mowed lawn distress ink just to bring in a little bit more green, give it a little bit of a little extra something and then once I did that I switched to just a really small blending brush and did the candied apple for the berries aka the flower senders so like I said you could really have fun with this and you could also just do it all in one color if you wanted or you could um do the flowers like they do flowers red do the centers like a yellow or a brown sort of a shade and then the leaves in different greens like with ink sky's the limit but i decided after i did this i started thinking i was like "Ooh, how would these look with glitter paste <laughs> so i did this first one and this was directly onto the card base so i set that one aside then I pulled out the glitter paste and I have some tonic mirror cardstocks here. This first one is emerald green and I have uh, emerald green glitter paste. So I'm applying the green on green and I just, there is something about applying glitter paste on top of like a foil cardstock that just, oh, love it, love it. <laughs> so with glitter paste, you want to work quickly. You want to clean things up. I actually clean my stencil between each um, use because it's just easier in my opinion. I take it to the sink, I scrub it, and then I go on to the next color. Um, just because glitter paste does, it just, it's glitter. Glitter has a tendency to just get into everything. So I clean off my stencil between each use. It's just easier, I find. And then for my second panel, I used um, ruby red foil or like mirror cardstock with garnet red glitter paste. And I just, I kind of apply, like I've sped up this in editing, but I just apply it in a nice smooth layer and um, really easy. Then I just peel up my stencil, go wash it off, clean off my palette knife, etc. And then I wanted to do one more. I was only going to do the two, like red and green, but then I was like, ooh, I wonder what this, I just got the seaweed quartz glimmer paste and you can see it there. It's a different sort of shade of green. It's kind of a greeny gold almost. I don't know it's a different shade of green I really like it so I use that on top of chrome silver uh, cardstock same thing taped down my stencil scraped the glitter paste over it and then again as soon as I'm done I wipe off my tools I clean off my stencil I make sure the lid is um, firmly adhered to the container I haven't had a problem with these glitter pastes and I've had those other ones I've had for is it well over a year now I'm not sure how long I've had them, but they're still going good. You just always want to make sure that the container is really good and closed. And you don't leave it sitting open or anything because it will dry out. So set those aside to dry. They didn't take very long, honestly. I think they sat for maybe like an hour or two while I was doing other things. So I set those aside to dry. And then I'm going back to work on this first card that I stenciled the ink onto. And I ran some gold glitter cardstock and some white cardstock through my little Xyron 3-inch sticker maker here. So all three of these pieces now have adhesive on the back of them and I am going to die cut them with the Holly Jolly sentiment from the Fa La La die set. And I end up doing this for all the cards. I use all of the die cut words from this entire set and do the exact same thing. Just the other ones I use green cardstock and red cardstock, but I didn't bother like filming all that and adding it because it's redundant. Because all I did was run the cardstock through all the layers through my little Xyron machine to put the adhesive on. 
die cut it with the word dies and then I'm going to stack all these together. So I've got the two, with this one it's two layers of white and then the top layer is this gold glitter and I always like to keep if I can my like base layer kind of in the original piece of cardstock. It makes it so much easier to adhere something like sentiments like this that are very fine and you know kind of finicky. So I adhere all the layers together first and then I can pop this out of, you know, the scrap and then pop this onto my card. So I decided to pop this directly on the card. There are outline dies as well. I did think about like die cutting outlines, but I decided I really wanted these backgrounds to really stand out. So I'm with this one, I'm adhering it just directly to the card base. And then um, once I've got that adhered, I decided to stamp the remaining sentiments again directly onto the card base with this one. So I'm going to put this in my stamp platform and I'm just going to stamp the other sentiments from the coordinating fa la la stamp set. So it'll say have a holly jolly Christmas. So I'm going to stamp those at the same time using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then once I've got that one stamped for all the other cards, I am going to white heat emboss sentiments onto vellum. And I'm using the follow last stamp set for one of them. And then for the other ones, I'm using the Mary and Joy stamp set that came out a couple years ago. I just like, you know, I've got all those words to play with and I can create my own phrases. So that's what I did here. I just have the vellum in my stamp platform. And then I have one of my, like the creative corner little ruler here just to help me line up all these words. So it says, um, from our home to yours. So one of my faves with Honeybee is being able to like build all your own sentiments. Love. <laughs> so I got those lined up. I'm gonna use my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to ink up the stamp with a Versamark ink, stamp that onto the vellum, and then I'm just gonna use some detail white embossing powder. And I'm gonna repeat this step for um, the sentiment for the other card, and then I'm gonna stamp the word Christmas, do all that. Once all of them are stamped and melted with the heat tool, I am gonna die cut these with the new Banner Builder wafer dies from Honeybee. So I've got all those die cuts. So now I have these strips of vellum with the sentiments on them. And once I do that, I can then take all of my backgrounds that I have applied the embossing paste to that are dry. And I'm going to trim these down. They were originally A2 size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to trim these down to about four inches by five and a quarter. One, because that way it'll look, it'll be framed nicely on the card base, but also because it cuts off any of the kind of rough edges that can kind of happen when you're using glitter paste on cardstock and whatnot. So that just kind of smooths out and cleans off all the edges, plus makes it a little bit smaller so it just will layer nicely on the card. So once I've got the edges trimmed, I'm going to wrap my little vellum sentiment strip around this. And I'm just going to tape it into place using the same washi tape. I just kind of stick with the same roll of washi tape until I completely use it up. And I use it for like I showed earlier, taping down my stencils, taping down vellum, holding different little intricate pieces together. Like my washi tape, that's pretty much what I use the majority of my washi tape with and decorating envelopes. But it, in more cases other than that, I use it more as like a workhorse. So I taped my vellum strip onto it. And then with the sentiments, that was a nice thing about running them through my little iron machine. So I can just peel the backing off of them and then just press them into place. So this one, I used the Fala La sentiment and I had die cut it from red cardstock and stacked three layers together and then just peeling off the backing, sticking that to my card. And then I repeat the process for the other two cards as well. So once I've got all those done, um, I coat all of these with foam tape on the back of them and I'm going to adhere them to my card base. The card bases are more heavyweight white cardstock and on the inside of all the cards I am stamping sentiment the the sentiment from the Mary and Bright stamp set this was also this was released last year and I'm just inking it up with those same distress inks so it takes a few stampings because distress inks aren't meant for stamping especially anything a little more detailed like sentiments but I find if I stamp them multiple times I usually get a good enough impression that I'm happy with so I'm just inking up the stamp with the either the mowed lawn or the shabby shutters um, distressing, stamped all the insides with the large Marion Bright sentiment, and then um, took that off my stamp platform and then added the Mayor Days B stamp and stamped that with the candied apple. So that finished off all the insides of the cards. All of the glitter stencil ones I adhered with foam tape to the card base. And then as a final bit of embellishment, I decided to add a few crystals in colors, kind of coordinating with the die cut sentiments. So for this first one, I'm using. Um, Studio Cadia Green, which one is this? This is the August 
Yes, this is the August one. So I just kind of sprinkled a few onto my card fronts and then I'm just going to tear them into place with little bits of multimedia matte adhesive and picking them up with my jewel picker. So I did that for the red card and then for the other two I'm using um, the July crystals which are bright red. And once I get those into place, same thing. I just kind of sprinkle them all along like each corner there. The lower, lower right and the upper left corner just to kind of tie everything together. So get those in place and then adhere them into place with the multimedia matte adhesive again. So I really like the multimedia matte when I'm adhering over things like foil cardstock or this like glitter embossing paste because there's a lot of texture going on and whatnot. So I want something that's going to really stick as well as not ooze out. And if it does, well, it dries matte. But I try with this to be extra careful because when you're adhering over foil um, and the like metallic finishes and that, you don't want any adhesive oozing out. So that's also why I like using the multimedia matte for that. So I did that and then to you know tie it all together so that everything gets crystals. <laughs> I used gold crystals on my um, sponged or blended card here and this will be the end of the video. So that's how I did kind of four cards in well technically one sitting. It was multiple sittings between running around with kids and all that fun stuff. But the this stencil is oh, I love this stencil. I think it's my favorite from the release. So that's four cards using the poinsettia background stencil along with several of Honeybee's um, dies and stamp sets. As always, there'll be a link below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. So you can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.